Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the book series Tank Heart by author and amazing modeler Michael Rinaldi. This series has been very influential in my modeling over the last couple of years and I hope with this video to show you guys the strongest reasons for you guys to apply these lessons to your own modeling. Now before going on, I want to thank Michael Rinaldi for sending me a signed copy of his book Tank Heart Volume 4 and Mitko from DN Models for hooking us up. I am very, very grateful to the both of you. Needless to say, I'm a huge fan of Michael's work and his books, and of course, even if he hadn't sent me this book, I would totally have purchased it anyway. The purpose of this video is to show you guys what I love about these books and how I use them, and basically, maybe to motivate you to think differently about your modeling. And I know, at least I have become much more artistic and less procedural in my approach to my models. In a way, I think Michael's books have helped me uh, how to see a model uh, as opposed to just simply looking at a model. The first thing that is worth mentioning is that all of the models presented in this series are stunning and the books themselves are exquisitely designed and illustrated. Each build is documented extensively with beautiful photos of every step, technique and respective materials. Every book in this series has a specific theme. The first and fourth are about World War II German armor. The second features World War II Allied armor, and the third deals with post-World War II modern armor. The format for these books is mostly the same throughout the series, although the fourth installment has gone through a revision, and in my opinion, for the better in every way. Every book starts with a foreword by a different well-known modeler, except on Volume 4. In the introduction, the author sets the tone and talks about the intent scope and concepts broached in the book. The following chapter is a much necessary description of the materials and products that are used by the author, as well as advice on how to use them and their specific properties. This is followed by a very interesting chapter on the very important and fundamental principles of weathering. I find this part to be key in the development of a mindset for weathering, as it addresses the very simple yet sometimes hard to grasp concepts of layering and keeping everything to scale. On the next chapters, the author deals with core techniques for his style of weathering, such as the hairspray and oil painting rendering techniques. These are described thoroughly, both in concept as well as with examples that show it in action. I will say that just by going through these chapters, we can already learn a lot of very cool weathering techniques to use on our models. We now come to the meat of this series, that is, the step-by-step -step painting and weathering of all the models featured in these books. These examples are the real deal when it comes to understanding the concept and thought process that drive the author's choices and actions while working the model. To this, and the wonderful text of each example, I point to the numerous orange squares that always feature tips and summaries of the step or technique at hand. There is great emphasis in always showing the reasoning, or if you will, the why, behind the how, in the whole process. At the end of each completed build, there is a photographic quick reference step-by-step -step spread that provides you with a visual reminder of the whole process. 
But moreover, when comparing the different builds across the books, using the quick reference step by step, one quickly grasps the fluid and unique way in which the subject is broached according to its characteristics. In this section, you can see some of the subjects featured across the series. This way, you can have a general idea of the variety and impressive quality of the models. I think that, basically, these images speak for themselves. I want to give some more attention to the fourth volume of the series, as it seems to have gone through some revisions that have made it, in my opinion, much more valuable. The technique proficiency portion of the book features a wide variety of techniques and wonderful examples of different German World War II subjects, with short, in-focus, photographic step-by-step -step references and detailed callouts on each page. Some important concepts are also addressed in this section. Technical development, using the model as a roadmap, or pushing beyond a project that stalls are just a few examples. Much in the same vein, the winter whitewash section provides you with several examples of this technique being applied to different scale subjects. In this manner, the author exemplifies different ways of applying this effect, taking great care to keep it always to scale. Another interesting part of this series are the several chapters on figures and guest builds that you can find at the end of each book. These chapters are authored by renowned modelers and offer the reader different perspectives both on armor builds as well as figure modeling and painting. I personally consider these a great asset and bonus. On a personal note, these books have been very influential to me, not only because they feature a more artistic approach to them, both in content as well as presentation, but also because they are written in a very personal and frank manner, revealing Michael's sincere thoughts about his work and the hobby he loves. I catch myself smiling many times while reading some part of the text where he discloses some thought that most likely we all have had about our models and our obby itself. I also simply love the way you are presented with the making of these models. Bit by bit, always with beautiful photographs, painstakingly taking note of every bit of the process, until finally the cumulative effect of all the layers gives birth to these amazing models. Whenever I go through these books, I can't help but find myself inspired and compelled to try my hand at these techniques, as the turning of every page presents with a new enticing stimulus. I think these books very much belong in the library of every modeler with a love for armor modeling and weathering in general. Well. I hope to have provided you with a different overall view of this series, and just maybe you get inspired by them as much as I do.